Good afternoon, guys. How are you today? Um, for those that know me, how are you? The road, those that don't know me, my name is Richard Kaufman, um, also known as the Comeback Coach, and I help people that are dealing with uh, depression issues, uh, post-traumatic stress, uh, traumatic brain injuries, um, and I just wanted to I got the opportunity to come on for about five or 10 minutes and just talk to you about how um, you should open up to people about your mental health issues. Because um, a little backstory for me, um, father left when I was three, three months old, uh, moved from house to house, very poor, uh, alcoholic by the age of 13, thrown out of the military at the age of 19, um, almost went to jail for five years for grand larceny for robbing a police officer. Um, now I'm, I'm clean going on 32 years, but, uh, about seven years ago, I got hurt on military duty, lost my vision in this eye and lost my career in the same day. And uh, I got into a very deep, deep, dark depression. Um, didn't use or anything, but just got into that deep, deep, uh, dark depression, you know, uh, suicidal issues. And uh, one day I just decided, you know, all right, enough is enough. And uh, I had to get honest with myself. So what I had to do is I actually uh, went to the VA and I asked if I can get some help. And um, I actually started seeing a therapist, and which I still see the therapist until this day, 10 years later. But if I didn't ask for help, um, I would never get the help that I need. And on dealing with depression, anxiety, it's a very um, personal thing. You know, we don't, we want everybody to think, you know, uh, we're okay. Um, and most people around us know that we're not okay, but in our minds, you know, we think, okay, well, I'm hiding it pretty well and, and uh, I'm going to be okay. And uh, so what I want you guys, you know, to take from this couple minute talk that I'm going to have is just, it's okay not to be okay. Um, you know, if a person has cancer, person has diabetes, a person has high high blood pressure, if they go for help, it's expected. And now with the alarming suicide rates um, in my profession and what I do, um, th on average, uh, 35 first responders a day commit suicide, including 22 veterans and also two active duty soldiers every day. <laughs> And worldwide, a uh, person commits suicide every five minutes. So, uh, and I think it's okay. I think a lot of people would be alive today if they talked to somebody yesterday. And, you know, like if they said, okay, all right, here it is. This is what I'm going through. Uh, I need help. And there's always going to be there somebody, somebody for you. There's always somebody out there, somebody like me that has been through it. You know, that's why I do what I do because, you know, somebody was there for me at one point. But I had to humble myself and say, you know what? I need help. Now, a lot of people think that asking for help is a weakness where in my life, and in what I do, um, besides what I do here, I also, um, I train athletes. And if it's okay for an NFL player like Tom Brady has six Super Bowl wins, um, Hall of Famer, the greatest of all time. If he can ask for help and he gets help on his nutrition, on his diet, on his workouts, why can't we ask for help? Why should we have to decide, you know, I got to go this alone? Um, guys, as long as I'm alive, you will never be alone. I'm always going to be here for you. You can always get in contact with me. All you have to do is hashtag the comeback coach. Now, another question that was asked to me was um, if my story about 
um, my dealings with uh, suicide, um, health issues, with uh, depression. If th there was a book out there, what would it be called? And I had to laugh to myself because I actually wrote a book about it and it's out on Amazon. It's called A Hero's Journey from Darkness to Light. And uh, what it does, it does, it tells my story. And the whole point of the book is to let people know that they're not alone. You know, they're not, there's people out there that are going through what you are going through or have gone through what you have gone through and they're there for you. So when I wrote the book and in the back two chapters, I wrote a chapter on, you know, what suicide actually looks like and what people perceive depression and suicide that, look, that it looks like. And it's totally different from what people perceive and what suicide and depression actually are. And then the last chapter was a chapter on um, addiction. You know, a lot of people get into this addiction, whether it's drugs, alcohol, relationships, the phone, every, everybody's addicted to something. And a lot of times that addiction gets so bad that we become um, ashamed of that addiction. Mine was drugs and alcohol. And uh, once I put it out there, you know, that, okay, I'm an alcoholic, you know, I'm a drug addict. I need help. Um, and the first step in getting help, actually knowing that you need help. Um, I cannot help you if you're not at that point where you think you need help. You know, if you're just flirting with the idea of me me needing help, you know, maybe you should, you know, attend some meetings or, you know, talk to some people that have, you know, that are going through what you're going through. And the greatest thing is, is once you tell somebody, like when I when I went to AA, I had to tell a complete stranger everything I ever did bad. And once I told a complete stranger everything that I've done wrong, it became free. Um, I became free because I didn't have to carry that burden anymore. Um, I actually helped had somebody help burden that my burden my guilt, my guilt and stuff. And you become a free person once you go to therapy and you start, or even just a friend or somebody you could talk to, tell them, listen, you know, I'm struggling. I can't sleep. I'm overeating. I'm under eating. Uh, I'm drinking. I'm drugging. Um, I'm in a depressed mood. I don't sleep well. I'm giving my stuff away. Once you tell somebody that relieves a lot of pressure off your shoulders and it is really freeing. So if you guys get anything out of this video, um, it's just that you're not alone. Um, there's so many people out there that love you, that care about you, um, that want to see you succeed. And sometimes, now I'm just saying not all the time, but sometimes it's not the people around you. It's not your family. It's friends, it's strangers that'll push you more for your recovery than the people that are in your own life at the moment. So guys, if I can say anything today, what if, if you're struggling, um, if you're down, you're depressed, and, and you just need somebody to talk to, reach out, you know, you can talk to me anytime. You can just find me anywhere. You can just hashtag the comeback coach and that'll come up on all my social media. You can get in touch with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. But if you need somebody, reach out to me or reach out to one of your friends, one of your counselors, just reach out to somebody. Because the people that committed suicide today did not reach out to anybody yesterday. So that's all I want to say, guys. I uh, thank you for everything. I appreciate you. Um, you guys will never be alone as long as I have a breath in my body. All right, love you. Um, just keep the faith. And just remember, everybody loves a comeback story. And today, today's your day. All right, guys, love you.